All right, well, this guy's a diamond three player, not diamond two. Let's do it. Jean versus Byzantines. This can actually be a little tricky if they can snowball you with early horsemen raids, but if you can prevent that. Then you should be fine. Explore. Vado. Cavallo. Si. Mendes. Escolto. Parat. Ubi va. Parat. Vado. Sala. Escolto. Mendes. Kerte. Sometimes they're back in the corner here. Not this time. Alright, safe gold anyway. Which is good. This is quite open for horseman raids later. Gotta keep that in mind. Ooh, a second gold back here? That's kind of crazy. That's an amazing spawn for me, but um, food... Food is also a concern. So, let's try to find out where that is. How funny would that be if he stole my sheep here because I'm being lazy and not wanting to return them? It would be catastrophic for me. I don't think... Can he steal him within my TC? Radius? I don't think he can. I actually don't know how that works. Did I see another one down here? Yes, I did. Got a wolf out here and a boar. That's great. It's not too far away. Kind of hard to wall off, from what I can tell on this map. So the aggressor, I think, should be favored, and the aggressor should be me. Good 
Interesting. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Cavallo ici. Qu'est demandes? Coon grand course. Mais ma tête est pas là. Vous êtes la maçonnade. Caval parat. It's fine, buddy. That is fine. Come on. Courez où, prefix, beau destrier. Parat pour venir. Demande It's going to be really hard for me to maintain my food. Mandemans, Colonel. 
So remember what I said before the game started? Yeah, that's what's happening here. If they can start, uh, if they can get successful early attacks, they can snowball really hard. And I don't have a second food like anywhere in sight. I mean, besides uh, besides berries. Not good. Not good at all. I have to go so far away to get my next food source. This is my only chance right here. And I think it's a very slim chance of that. Quite me. You must know the cause. 
I haven't heard his eco yet. That's the biggest issue right now. Got no idea where this guy's economy is. Okay. There was something. Okay, he sees this. Wait, 
Parat pour venir. Promesse au Bédio. Tout ce dit. Comme Votre commande de Nantes. Tous qui a l'oreille. Bayez moi besoin. Oil. Citos. There we go, boys. There we go. That's Diamond 2 right there. Just beat a Diamond 3 player to earn the Diamond 2 promotion. Heck yeah. That guy was ahead, too. It was the exact scenario that I was afraid of. Because it's, it's believe it or not, even as Jean Duck, it's tough to stop the first raids of the Byzantines. And if they start killing your villagers, it snowballs really hard. For a number of reasons. It's no, it snowballs hard, uh, first of all, because... Um, so, Jean is really powerful once she gets her engine going. Like, Jean can snowball the enemy really hard. But so, if they can push you off of gold or push you off of food, if they start killing any villagers, your night production is severely hampered. You're waiting to get the consecrates out. And, I mean, typically the first consecrate is going to go on villagers anyway. Uh, second one goes on school of cavalry. But so any villager kills that you sustain, any villager losses that you sustain hurt really bad. And then, um, yeah, and then after that, though, it starts to snowball even harder with Byzantines specifically because they, uh, when they get a good oil um, olive oil economy going, as you saw there, they pump out their mercenaries, but also they 
they trade their oil for gold, which I've experienced. Um, and like you, you can't resource starve them nearly as successfully once that olive oil economy gets going. All right, let's see. Yeah, I saw that random bugged out camel there. I don't know. So it probably hurt him more than me. But at the same time, I kept trying to kill it and it wasn't working. So I just ended up, I think, move commanding several times. But let's see. Are his horses knights or horsemen? Um, Good question, actually. I wasn't even thinking of that in game. I think they were horsemen. I, I don't believe those were cataphracts. And yeah, I hit yeah, I hit level four JD and feudal. That I mean that was crazy. And it's it's because I committed so hard to the um to the feudal aggression and, and I mean because he was attacking me a lot too. He was attacking a lot. So I was just racking up uh, lots of XP. By the way, I don't even know like I'm, I'm not well acquainted with her abilities in level four, so I, I don't know if you saw this, but I clicked on this and I was like wondering what to do with it, because most of my games end one way or another, in feudal. Um, every once in a while, in castle. Let's see, choose. Okay, so I, I was familiar with this unit and I thought that's the one I, I chose, but I wasn't sure. I've only gotten level four Jean, I, I think once or twice, um, but anyway, okay, yeah. So this is so she chooses the hero. That's the one that I wanted. I don't even know what the other one does. So I should probably look that up. But anyway, GG. Diamond 2, I'm stoked about that. So 3 three and 1. Yeah, 3 and 1 on the day. And the only loss, as I said, was that horrible loss against the Mongol Tower Rush where I pulled everything and didn't get the tower down. And my opponent was, what did I say, like 1420-something... He was a smurf. It was a 1420-something MMR. Uh, yeah, it was like 1429 MMR player. So, playing on a brand new account. Um, but at any rate, pumped about that one. Let's see. Uh, I'm definitely not going to play another one. I can watch a replay or something. Or cast the game. The other one just summons a cannon with a summon champs. But, oh, okay. Um, do you know what the difference in Jean herself is? I know with one of them, she is a really powerful, uh, she has a really powerful siege attack. Like she just destroys walls from what I've seen. Man, that was, a, whew, that was a really good win for me. I'm still riding high from that. Diamond three player, folks. That's my first win against a current diamond three player. So I'm I am pumped about that. And his uh, and his Elo is tw uh, thirteen eighty nine. So strong player for sure.